Hi friends, it's Dr. Glenn, your WordPress security fanatic. This video is to answer a viewer's question about Divi. That is the theme that I recommend people use with my hosting, which is instantaccess.net is the hosting company. Why instantaccess.net? Well, because we use Lightspeed and Cloud Linux and all of the best tools. We actually invest money to make sure things are fast. The, so the customer's concern is, hey, I went, I bought Divi. It's not very fast. What's going on? Well, uh, I guess you bought it on my recommendation, so I'm going to talk about that. Um, when you host on GoDaddy and Bluehost and stuff, you just can't expect to get uh, really great speeds with builder tools. And I don't mean just Divi. There's WP Bakery Builder and Elementor and any of the building tools that are out there. Um, their load speeds aren't great if you're not on a, a zippy server that's doing a good job for you. So... Let me just share my screen so you can see what I see. This is where we test, okay? So we go over to pagespeed.web.dev. And uh, so here's my website uh, that I, I just made recently, and I haven't even optimized it. This is uh, fixmyhackwebsite.com. I'm getting 100% on the mobile. That's unheard of. I just, I can't believe it. And I was very surprised and happy to see that pop up. And on the desktop, it's slower. And you know, it's usually uh, not that way. Almost always with the tests, your mobile is slower than the desktop uh, score by a little bit at least. Uh, they're both in the green. That's very respectable. And the highest score you can get is 100. So uh, first, let me say this is where you want to test, pagespeed.web.dev. There are other Lighthouse tools, page speed indicators and things. The developers like to cherry pick the ones that give them the best uh, looking result and I'm here to tell you after talking to my private contacts uh, at Google and, and elsewhere that this is the tool people that are actually using that matters for your search engine results and stuff. So this is where you want to go, pagespeed.web. This is the real deal. So let me uh, just show you what the settings are. Why am I getting such good speeds uh, in here? Well, in my dashboard, I'm running Lightspeed Web Server here and uh, that makes all the difference. So the light speed cache. Now I, I have to tell you, I've been a little lazy about things. I haven't optimized anything. I haven't even tried. I mean, if you go over to page speed insights, you can see I've got accessibility scores in here, alt, uh, alt attributes that aren't set on my images, um, scaling issues. Uh, I've got things, definitely SEO. Yeah, you know, I don't even have good links on my SEO. Um, I don't do it. it. It's not that I'm not an expert at it. I do it for other people for money. But the fact is, I'm swamped with work. And I get most of my jobs by word of mouth. And I just don't try to fight for search engine rankings. But if I ever did, I, there's definitely a lot I could do to improve uh, my own situation over here. So, uh, But in, anyway, um, there's only one of me. So I'm sort of in that situation. Uh, so what I did was I built a site using Divi. Right here's the, the, see, it really is in there. And I just turned all these on and that's it. So if you go to the Divi panel and you try to uh, use their performance plugin here, uh, this might be the best bet. If you're not on an actual Lightspeed web server that is, um, zippy and fast like uh, I provide at instantaccess.net, this might be the way to get your website uh, to go a lot faster because you're not going to have this plugin over here. And and just while I'm on the subject, let me just tell you that uh, the way Lightspeed works, and this is kind of weird, but uh, you, you as the web host, you buy a license for, of Lightspeed for your server. And then uh, you buy, you can buy any license you want for any server, that, any license that they offer. So you can buy the, the cheapest license that only has like one worker, one process out of, you know, the entire server load that does any good at all. And then you can advertise to everybody that you have Lightspeed web server and you can attract a lot of customers that way. A lot of customers come and use my hosting because I use Lightspeed. And that's why when you go to some, I, I don't want to name names because I can't prove that this is what they're doing. But you go to some of the bigger companies that claim that they're Lightspeed 
uh, web servers. And, you know, they're not terrible, but their speeds just aren't there. And you're like, why? I just don't think they're buying the actual light speed that's sufficient. On my servers, I buy at light speed unlimited. So as much as the server can sort of absorb, it, it is doing for my customers. And, you know, it costs a little bit more money, but uh, why would you provide a service if it's not the best service? Um, I, anyway, just just saying uh, beware apples to apples and, you know, compare things when you're out there in the world so you're not taken advantage of. So anyway, what you can do is you go into the Divi options if you're not on Lightspeed and you can turn these on. And what this is, it's a cache, and it works with um, with your system. But beware, if you have another cache running, like W3 Total Cache or uh, Rocket and Jetpack and those tools, uh, you, you just want only one running at a time. So obviously, Lightspeed's giving me almost perfect scores uh, for, my, for my site, but if I... Uh, turn on this second cache and I run it in tandem with um, with this, I suspect that, um, that my speeds are going to slow down. So, I mean, I'm always testing these kinds of things. I find it very interesting. So let me just reload this site and try to get the caches to reload. These prices aren't going to be good for much longer, by the way. I've uh, I don't want to raise my prices, but I kind of at that point where things are taking longer than ever to do because hacks are getting more and more complicated on average. All right, so um, I'm going to rerun this in real time so you can see what I see, and then uh, I'll let everybody go about your day. But just remember that, you know, the speed of your website translates to the how good your search engine rankings are going to be on Google. They really do take that into account so go out here test your own website make sure that it's fast yeah that's what i suspected see it's slower with both caches than it is with just one so people think that if they just keep adding caching plugins that their problems are going to get better and better uh, sometimes it comes down to the host that you're on and uh light speed cache so you know it's not too bad actually i mean 96 on desktop those are that's a that's a score that a lot of people would die to have i mean they would just give anything to be at that score. And uh, on the mobile side, 75, very, very uh, presentable as far as, you know, those kinds of scores go. Uh, let's say that I'm um, trying to think of a company that uses Lightspeed. Um, I think SiteGround does. So go and check their site just for, just for giggles here and see what's going on. I'm just curious. So, um, wow, this is lousy. So on lights, I mean, you read into it however you want, but look, they're only getting a 55 on mobile and their desktop is getting a, uh, a 98. So um, I don't know. I mean, you would think that the company that hosts would it would get like, great scores at least be in the green I mean, this is terrible this is almost like not even in the orange for uh for that um by the way where do i host i host at instant access so let's um i'll show you that this is my hosting company it's just really simple and uh but uh, pretty quick and zippy I suppose you probably want to see that. Let's do that real quick while I have everybody's attention. And we'll just uh, test my server and see how it, it responds to um, this kind of attention. So uh, it's uh, rerouting to www, and I only put in, I put it in without, so that's going to um, make the scan lag just a little bit, but that's okay. I still have confidence it's going to be all right. Well, there we go. On the mobile side, uh, instantaccess.net gets a 99. Well, that's the best score we've seen so fast. How is your web host? Go in here and pick your web host and test it. And on the desktop side, 100. Have you ever seen a 100 score before? Have you ever? <laughs> a lot of people never have ever even seen that kind of a score. Well, 
There you go. All right. Well, thank you, friends. I really appreciate you stopping by. Uh, if you need web hosting that is worth a damn, go to instantaccess.net and grab a web hosting account for WordPress. It's $7.50 a month. No upsells. You get your backups and you get your SSL and all the things included in there. And you get me to help you when you have problems. All right. Um, other than that, if you did buy Divi and you're having trouble getting those speeds, uh, Great. I'm really happy that you bought it. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just think it's a good product. Uh, just remember, use their cash. Use only one cash, whichever one you pick. Sometimes you have to fiddle with things to get it right. And if you have the opportunity to get on a great web server, because that makes all the difference. Okay, thank you. And we'll see you next time.